Colorado Cross Disability Coalition's 2016 Election Voters Guide. Colorado-based, disability-specific ballot information. Video 1, Getting Ready to Vote. This is a very important election, so let's start with some dates you should know. November 8th is Election Day. This is the day you cast your vote in person. October 17th, mail ballots are sent. October 24th, vote centers open. You have the right to vote. All people with and without disabilities have the right to vote, including people who have a guardian, people who live in a group home or a host home, people who live in a nursing facility. Staff must help you with this process, but they can't tell you how to vote. The first step is to know if you are registered to vote. Being a registered voter means that you have signed up so that the government knows you want to vote. Step one is to check if you are already registered to vote. What if you aren't signed up or maybe you don't know for sure? That's okay, here's what you do. There is a website to help you. On your computer or with some help, type this address in your search bar www.sos.state.co.us Once again, that's www.sos.state.co.us The page you want is the Secretary of State website. It has many links that help you learn things about the government. Look for the section that says Programs and Services. In that section, you want to click on the Elections and Voting link. The new page has an Elections and Voting section. Now click on the Voters link. The Voters page has lots of good information. You can register to vote if you haven't done this yet. You can check to see if you are already registered. There is information about accessibility resources. And there is information for voters with disabilities. Find your voting information. Find the Manage My Registration part of the Secretary of State's website. Click on Find My Registration. On the new page, fill in the boxes with your name, zip code, and birth date. Note, the zip code you need to use is the same one you used when you last updated your voter registration. Click on Search to find your information. Your Registered Voter Information On this page, you will find things about you.
your name, and the year you were born. Your registration information. Your voter ID number. Registration status. Political party affiliation you belong to, if you have one. The date you signed up with that party. Where you live. You can change some things by clicking links on this page. You can change your party affiliation. You can change your address. Other helpful information you will find here the county where you live, the address of the county office, the phone number if you need to call someone, the name of the election, the date, and when your county will mail you your ballot, the link to the county website, and a link to a sample ballot. Also on this page is a list of places you can go to vote or to get help with voting. This includes the name of the polling place and their address. Three important facts about registering to vote. You can register any day between now and Election Day. You can even register on Election Day. You can register to vote by mail or online up to eight days before the election. That means any day until October 31st. To register after October 31st, or on Election Day, you have to go to a Voter Service Center or Polling Center. From November 1st to the 8th, you need to register in person. If you find there is something that is keeping you from voting, you have people that can help. Some things that might get in your way are ballots that are not clear or are difficult to read voting centers that are not easy to get into or don't have wheelchair ramps, or staff, election officials, or other people telling you how you should vote. If you think someone has broken the law or has kept you from voting, you can contact Disability Law Colorado. Their phone number is 303-722-0300. Or 1 800 288 1376. Their email is dlcmail at disabilitylawco.org. You can also contact the Disability Law Colorado Grand Junction Office. Their phone number is 970. 241-6371 or 1-800-531-2105. These are the people who protect your right to vote. Learn more at their website at https colon forward slash forward slash disabilitylawco.org. How do you vote? You have choices. You can vote in person at a polling place or you can use your mail-in ballot.
ways to vote. You can go to what is called a polling place. Pick a place from the list of polling places found on your voter registration information page. On election day, you go there. They have a machine that helps you vote. Use your mail-in ballot. Everyone that lives in Colorado gets a mail-in ballot. Most ballots will be mailed out on October 17th. You can fill in this ballot any time before Election Day. This lets you take your time and means you don't have to go to a polling place. You can mail your ballot as long as it gets to the election office before Election Day. You can drop off your ballot on Election Day at a designated drop-off site. But what if you need help reading or filling out your ballot? You can have help reading or filling out your ballot. Get help from someone you know. Ask a family member. Ask a friend you trust. Ask an advocate. You can also take notes, a sample ballot, or a piece of paper with you when you go to vote. You don't have to remember your choices. Get help from an election staffer. You can go to the voter center and get help from one of the people that work there. They can read a ballot to you. They can help you push buttons on the machine. They cannot explain what a question means, tell you about a candidate, or tell you whom you should pick. No one can tell you how to vote. Family, friends, or advocates can explain the issues and make suggestions. But the final decision is up to you. If you need help understanding the issues, you can get help with that also. Talk to a friend or family member. Talk to an advocacy organization. Some places and people that might be able to help include CCDC. Besides this guide, they have people you can talk to. Their phone number is 303 839-1775. The State ARC Chapter. They can give you the number of a chapter near you. Their phone number is 303-864-9334. The State Centers for Independent Living. They can give you the number of a chapter near you also. Their phone number is 303-902-5897. Or the National Federation of the Blind, the Colorado Chapter. Their phone number is 303-778-1130. You have power when you vote. Don't give up that power. Know what the issues are that affect you. Make your vote count. The next video in the series will talk about the candidates that are on the ballot.